Hey guys, welcome to the 14th Autodesk Inventor tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to be looking at the mirror pattern tool. And basically what we want to do is copy all of this geometry over here to the other side of this line. So we want both sides of this line to be perfectly symmetrical. And you're probably thinking, well, symmetrical, why don't we just go ahead and use the symmetric constraint? Well, the symmetric constraint will only make two existing things symmetrical. It won't actually create something that is symmetrical to this. So to do that, we're going to have to use this mirror pattern tool up here. All right, so just go ahead and click on this mirror pattern tool. And when it opens, you'll see that this uh, select button is selected. And that basically just means that we have to highlight or select what we want to copy over. And we want to copy all of this over right here. So a slow way to do it would be to individually select uh, each line. Or you can just go ahead and draw a rectangle, and that will just highlight everything. All right, and then we're just going to want to select or highlight this mirror button right here. And then we're going to want to select the line that we want everything to be reflected over. So we want all of this to be reflected over this line. So we're just going to go ahead and select this as our mirror line. And once you have uh, both your mirror line and what you want to reflect selected, you can just go ahead and apply that. And as you can see, it just created um, all the geometry that is symmetrical to this side. So now this line is symmetrical to this, this is symmetrical to this, and so on. All right, and you could even reflect it again. So if we wanted to copy all of this over to the other side of this line, we could just go ahead and do that. So now we're just going to draw a rectangle um, all around all this to select everything. Then we're just going to want to go ahead and select our mirror line. And it doesn't really matter which of these lines that we select, since they're both on the same line. They're just two different line segments. So it doesn't matter which one of these lines we select. I'm just going to go ahead and select this one. And then once you have that uh, all ready, you can just go ahead and click apply and it will apply that pattern. So now all of this up here should be reflected over this line and it should all appear down here. Apply and yep, there we go. Now you got some cool crazy pattern and it didn't really take that much work. Alright, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. I know it was sort of quick, but there's really not much to the mirror pattern tool. In the next tutorial, we're going to be getting into the circular pattern. Alright, so see you guys.